awesome kids! Welcome again to another fun and exciting learning session here in Grade 2 English. I am Teacher Isa, teaching all the way from the beautiful municipality of San Vicente, Palawan. Do you know where I am? I'm in a tree house. This is owned by my good friend. It is mostly made of nipa palm leaves. Ah, speaking of nipa, did you know that the nipa hut or bahay kubo is one of the pride of the Philippine culture? When the first Spaniards arrived in the 16th century, they were surprised to see the early Filipinos living in houses made of wood and bamboo, roofed by nipa palm leaves. The name Bahay Kubo comes from the term Bahay, the Filipino word for house, and Spanish phrase Kubo, meaning small cube. It is because of its rectangular appearance. Awesome, isn't it? Even today, we would usually see this kind of houses in most rural areas here in the Philippines. Felipe Padilla de Leon, one of our national artists for music, has written a song that shows how proud he is of this humble house. And I am sure that you know this. Most of us grew up learning this song. Do you know it? You're right! It is Bahay Kubo! Come on, let us sing it! Bahay Kubo Kahit punti Ang halaman doon singer. In today's episode, we are going to identify the English equivalent of some words in our mother tongue or in Filipino. But before we go to our lesson, you have to get, get your pen, module and notebook, sit and learn with me. Differences in language may sometimes cause confusion or misunderstanding in communication. But with the proper usage of words and with respect for each other's mother tongue, open communication is possible. This is the reason why it is important for us to know the equivalence or translations of different words, whether these are English to Filipino or Filipino to English translations because meanings can be easily miscommunicated. Remember, not understanding some unfamiliar words may put us in danger. So, we have to be careful. 
Okay kids? Great! Look at our magic book. It is where I discover and look all the wonders that I put in this little magic book. Oh, it is glowing. Wow, look at these gems. They are sparkling. Oh no, where did they go? I think the magic book is telling us something. Sparkling as they seem, but very hard to redeem. Trust your understanding and prove that you are outstanding. Journey beyond and explore the unknown. Collect the gems and a special badge you will own. What do you think it means? I know! We have to collect gems to earn a badge. Hmm. What badge could that be? I am sure with your help, we will get whatever that is. Magic book, we are ready. Oh, are you up for the challenge to get our first gems? Let's do this, kids! The song you sang a while ago is so Filipino and it is written also in Filipino. Now, the challenge is to give the English equivalent of some words mentioned in the song. You only have 10 seconds per word to write your answer in your notebook. Each correct answer will give you a blue gem. Good luck! Here is our first word. Get ready! Luya. This is a root vegetable and is used as an alternative herbal medicine. What is the equivalent word of Luya in English? Amazing! It is ginger. Ginger is a good source of vitamin C and helps prevent various types of infections. Here is the next one. Do you know this vegetable? Sibuyas. This is often used in cooking our daily dishes. Did you know what the English word for this? Awesome! It is onion. This is easy. We now have two gems. Let us get some more. Labanos. What is the English word for labanos? Good. It is radish. It is getting harder now, but I know we can do this. Let us have another one. Sinkamas, another root crab. What is the equivalent word of sinkamas in English? Definitely right. It is turnip. This is loaded with fiber, which is good for our digestion. The last one is the last word of the song. Linga. I love to put this in my chicken recipes. What is the English equivalent for linga? Excellent! It is sesame. You have been awesome in giving the English equivalent of some nouns mentioned in the song. How many gems have you collected so far? Great! Let us collect some more. Let us follow the magic book. For sure, it will lead us to more gems. So I guess our next challenge will happen here. In this room, you need to look for five things to get 
the five yellow gems you need. But that is not the only challenge because you also have to say the Filipino translation of that object that you will find. Get ready and begin! First item to find is a table. Yes, you found it fast. Now, what is the Filipino word for table? What is your answer? Mesa or la mesa? Are you sure? Correct! Let us find the next object. A book. Good job! You found it! Now, what do you think is its Filipino translation? Time is up! The Filipino translation for this word is... Aklat! Wow! You are good at this! Yes! Our gem meter is rising! Let us find the next object, a pencil. Find it now. You are really an expert. For sure, you know the Filipino word for this. Lapis. Great job. The next object is my favorite tool for cleaning. It is the broom. Hurry! Find the object before time runs out. It took time, but you still found it. Great! Now, what is its Filipino translation? I am so proud of you. Let us search for the last object, a trash can. I am sure it can't be too far from the broom. There it is. What is the Filipino word for this? Do you know? Did you answer basurahan? Excellent! Basurahan is the Filipino word for trash can. We are done with this messy room. Good job! You are fantastic! How many gems have you collected so far? Wow! Keep it up! See? Understanding the things around us is not that complicated for as long as we are willing to learn. Inspired to get more gems? Come with me! In this last activity, we will need our magic box. There's a box full of magic, full of words. It's fantastic. It has everything you want to learn. Magic box. Let us open the box. To get the remaining gems, you need to supply the missing word to complete each sentence. You will be guided by the Filipino words in parenthesis. Choose your answer from these words. You are given 10 seconds to write your answer in your notebook. Ready? Let us start with the first sentence. My blank teaches us how to read words. What do you think is the correct 
translation of the word in parentheses. Time is up. What is your answer? Very good. The answer is teacher. One gem for you. Let us read the completed sentence. Repeat after me. My teacher teaches us how to read words. Let us have the second sentence. We planted colorful flowers in our blank. What is the English equivalent of the word in parentheses? has run out. What did you choose? Great choice! It is garden. Yes! Another gem earned. Let us read the completed sentence. Again, repeat after me. We planted colorful flowers in our garden. Third sentence, please. Palawan is a beautiful blank. Choose the correct answer from the pool of words. Time is up! Quick! Tell me your answer! Fantastic! The correct English equivalent of the Filipino word lugar is place. Two gems to go. Be ready to read the sentence after me. Palawan is a beautiful place. Fourth sentence coming up. We need to eat our meals on blank to be fit. What is the English translation of the Filipino word oras? Time is up. What did you answer? Awesome! It is time. One gem for you. Gem hunters, repeat after me. We need to eat our meals on time to be fit. We only have two choices now. Choose wisely, kids. Now, down to the last sentence. There are many stars in the sky every blank. What is the correct English translation of the word in parentheses? Wow! That was quick! So, what did you choose? You are really good. The correct answer is night. Last gem collected. Repeat after me, gem hunters. There are many stars in the sky every night. Whew! That was an outstanding performance. Congratulations! You have beaten all the challenges with flying colors. So, are you ready to receive your badge? Great! A little English wizard badge! And you definitely deserve it! Thank you, Magic Book! Woohoo! This day was awesomely fun! Did you enjoy our learning adventure? Me too! You really deserve a pat on the back. Raise your right hand. Come on, raise it. Tap your left shoulder twice. And 
say to yourself, Ha! Huh, I did my best. And I am really awesome. In our next exciting episode, we will learn more English Filipino translations and their importance in our daily lives with teacher Jennifer. You can always catch up with our lessons by visiting our social media accounts and official YouTube channel that you can see on our screen. No one will be left behind. Once again, this is Teacher Isa. And remember, English is fun and it's for everyone. See you again only here on Dap Ed TV!